Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Terrain Showcase. This time I don't have, uh, this is not custom made terrain, this is uh, Zitterdast hard foam terrain. I think they are a German company somewhere over in Europe. Anyways, there's quite a few more pieces, but it was hard to actually get the whole set on uh, in frame. So I just kind of zoomed in on this little uh, section that I built. This is actually like quite a few different pieces here. It's one, two, three, four, uh, and there's a whole bunch of little guys inside of here. Uh, so I think there was like uh, around 20 pieces all together. But I painted it to match a set I did previous for the client. And other than just adding some color variation in the rocks to give them a little bit more visual interest, I matched the pieces because he sent me some pieces to color match them pretty well. And I just added some trees in there and did some foliage because he wanted them to be overgrown. A yeah. So I will jump the camera off the tripod, we'll check everything out a little bit closer and get to it. So we have a few of these different wall sections. And they actually had a little bit of static grass. Some pieces came with static grass already uh, on them and they come pre-painted. What they say is pre-painted but it's pretty poorly painted so anyways that's why they have a lot more foliage and the other ones just to cover up that static grass and whatnot and then we got this this large guy here stuck in some trees there is foliage around scattered leaves and then we have this guy there's a little bit of a vine growing They've just been hit with some gray scheme, a little bit of weathering, and a dry brush. And then this guy, along with the other, I'm going to hit that with some more matte medium. Or matte varnish there. It's just glossy from the matte medium. I just didn't hit that edge. As you can see, these guys aren't shiny. And the rest of that guy's not shiny. I'll fix that after. But like I was saying, there's little bits of red and lighter browns in the uh, in the hills. That looks cool with the light shining through there. Ooh. Oh, that guy fell off. You can see the the faces in there and the creepy. Uh, Skull, skull faced um, wings there. This guy's the guy that fell. It's just a little statue. And there's a couple other pieces of fallen down statue. We got this guy with the uh, little balcony. There's a little modular staircase. There's the other set of uh, different walls. This guy got a little bit of foliage because it wasn't the same textured stuff as these guys. It was more ground texture, so I overgrown it and put quite a few trees on this piece. There's a couple on this side. There's more on the back side here. And there's a bunch of vines growing up this side. The set I had for the client initially had a different uh, type of vine, but I ran out of that vine. This one just has a darker leaf. That's okay. Gives variety to the set. And then we have this guy. Same type of deal. It's got this cool window though. I like that circular window. A couple trees. A couple trees stuck in there. There's the third hill. These hills are kind of nice. They got uh, felt on the bottom there. And then we have this large building. And there's this little nubby guy. And then the last wall. So that gives you a closer look at this set as a whole. 
if you are interested in getting some custom terrain, miniature painting commissions, I also finish terrain like this, uh, finish and build MDF kits for people. So if you're interested in any of that work, you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I'll get you a quote. I will have a full set of pictures of this guy up on my Facebook and a link to that in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and happy wargaming.